Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the secondary parts of a triangle. Let's start with the median. Median, or a median, is a segment that joins a vertex of a triangle and the midpoint of the side opposite that vertex. Now to illustrate, let us use this triangle. So let's say the midpoint of segment AC is D. Okay, D. Now to get the median, the opposite of our midpoint is the vertex B. So we need to connect the vertex going to the midpoint. Okay. Now, BD is the median of triangle ABC. BD is the median of triangle ABC. Okay. We can now conclude that BD, or segment BD, is the median of triangle ABC. Now, what is the use of the median? So, that is the median, therefore, AD is equal to, or congruent to, DC. AD is congruent to DC. If AD measures 5 cm, therefore, the measure of DC is 5 cm. That is the median of a triangle. Now to better understand, let's have this first example. LN or segment LN is a median of our triangle KMN. Now we're going to find X. Since LN is a median, therefore L is our midpoint. Now LM is congruent to KL. So, KL is congruent to LM. We know that the measure of KL is 6x plus 3. So, substitute 6x plus 3 is equal to 7x minus 1. 6x plus 3 is equal to 7x minus 1. They are equal. Now, solve for x. So, addition property of equality. So, 6x or sim well known as transpose. So, positive 7x. Move on the left side. That will become negative 7x. Is equal to negative 1. Addition property of equality. Subtract by uh, add negative 3, so it will become negative 3. Or simply, move to the right, change the sign. Now we have negative x is equal to negative 4. x is equal to positive 4. Okay. So the value of x is positive 4. Now, if your teacher asks you, what is the measure of kl? So what is the measure of kl? So kl is... 6x plus 3, all you need to do is to substitute 6 times x is 4 plus 3. 6 times 4, 6, 12, 18, 24 plus 3, that is 27. So the measure of KL is 27 units. Now let's have our example number 2. Now our second example. Let's say we have... Segment EH is the median of triangle EFG. So our illustration, triangle EFG. Then EH is the median. We're going to find the value of X, Y, and segment EH, or the measure of segment EH. Now, we study our illustration. Notice that we have our markings. That means... So we have H here. That means FH, we can say that FH is congruent to segment HG. And segment FH 
is also congruent to segment EH. Okay. The following sides are congruent. Now, we're going to find X. So, FH is congruent to EH. So, we can now get the value of X. So, we have EH is congruent to FH. So, EH measures 9X minus 2. And that is equal to 7x plus 4. Now, 9x, I want to move the positive 7x on the right going to the left, so I will change the sign. It's equal to copy 4, move to the right, change the sign, that will become positive 2. Now, 9x minus 7x, that will give us 2x is equal to 4 plus 2, that is 6. Finally, divide by 2, our x is equal to positive 3. So, x is positive 3. Now, we can get the value for y. For y, we know that uh, we can use this. Segment FH, FH, segment FH is congruent to segment HG. Okay. Now, our given FH is 7X plus 4. And that is equal to segment HG, which measures 5Y. Since we have a value for X, we can now substitute 7 times 3 plus 4 is equal to 5y. 7 times 3, 7, 14, 21, plus 4 is equal to 5y. 21 plus 4, that is 25, is equal to 5y. Now, divide by 5. So 25 divided by 5, that will give us 5 is equal to 1y or simply y. So y is equal to 5. Okay. Now we need to get the value of EH. So 3, then y is 5. Now EH, segment EH is equal to the given 9x minus 2. Now simply substitute the value of x. So 9 times 3 minus 2. 9 times 3 is 27 minus 2, that is 25. So, AH is 25. Okay, that is the median.